All right, what is up, Coretics? Welcome to the off-road meet. Um, it, 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 an interesting one because I mean we're on Xbox, and I've never seen so many people lag out in my life in a session. It, it, people have been lagging out over and over, I and mean, we're at 29 right now, but we've, we've been down to even 25. It just people keep lagging out, and their cars keep getting stuck in the middle for some reason. Not sure what's going on. Um, I don't know if it's an Xbox issue, a server issue, or an internet connection issue with some of the members, but this is kind of crazy. I don't know what's going on, but uh, it's it's pretty laggy. But um, we're still going to try our best to review all the cars and stuff here tonight. We're also using the cargo bob to move some of the um, vehicles that lag out. Um, that way we're not in the middle blocking other members' cars. There we go. Yeah, just, just moving. Wait, just, just throw, yeah, just, bye. Beow. Boom. Yep. <laughs> that works. Alright, so, let's go ahead and start reviewing cars, because people keep lagging out. We're going to try our best to just review them pretty quickly. Um, Optic Wig, member for seven months, appreciate it. Can't wait for Callus RT to finish that Chrysler 300 all-wheel drive 170. Yeah, that thing is crazy. I can't believe he's doing that. that that's insane what he can, that, that's just awesome what he came up with. That's actually drivable on the street, too, like, with the traction and everything. That's, that's impressive. All right. So, firstly, we got uh, my Jeep here. Um, so, I, I, I bought this with, like, every penny I had. I only got, like, 400k left on this account. <laughs> on this account. So, I'm probably going to have to sell some stuff later on and do more Kyos and stuff like that. But, um, got the Terminus with the GTA plus discount thing from the Vinewood Club Garage, so at least I saved some money there. Um, but I did the Racing Blue with Ultra Blue Pearl, stock wheels, and then I did a secondary gold. Um, that way I can do the gold trim, kind of like a 3ID2 model from real life. It has all the gold trim and gold tow hooks and stuff. And then I did the carbon inlay, which also gives you the cr uh, gold trim around it, your secondary, so it kind of ties in with the gold there. Uh, then I got the light bar. Um... That's pretty much it. And then I glitched on the back glass, but for some reason it, it just appears whenever it wants to. So that's that's nice. So you, you can glitch this one back on in the custom shop, but you can't glitch on the side ones, that, which kind of sucks. So if you want the full glass, you have to use the stock one, which... Ah, Rockstar. I can't believe I didn't notice that in my customization video. I guess since there was no tints up to that point, I guess I, I didn't really notice it since the stock windows are pretty transparent. Um wasn't like as obvious so yeah I, I would have loved to have mentioned that in my video but unfortunately I didn't notice it is what it is all right continuing over here um, we got this gray one who does this belong to you lagged out unfortunately okay so if this is your gray one let me know but I like the stock wheels it looks really good on the terminus I like the hood scoop no in no um, overlay on it um, got the light bar love it this livery looks good. Off road on the plate. Dual, uh, it's got the dual exit exhaust instead of the quad. The stock wheels look like I don't know. They're, they're, they look more realistic on the um, on the terminus. The stock one. It just looks better. I don't know. Just gives it an overall more like realistic look because they're you know based on the real Rubicon wheels. So yeah. All right. Continuing. Uh, we got Sleepy Goth with a metallic candy red terminus. Love it. And you got the secondary to match, dark red, stock wheels, primary colored fenders, and then this guy had the plastic ones. Light bar. Light bar seems to be the most popular option. I mean, it is the coolest. I mean, if I had a Jeep, it would have to have a light bar on it. I mean, it just, it, it's, it's useful and it just looks cool, you know. Go back here. It's got the removed rear section. He's got the different bracket style for the rear tire. Love it. These Jeeps are awesome. It took Rockstar how many years to add a Jeep with customization? Ten years? <laughs> okay, let me let me clarify it, because I, I, got, I got slammed a little bit in the comments of the Terminus video. I meant Jeep Wrangler. I should have clarified that. I, th I thought it would be kind of obvious, but people were like, No, what about the Camacho? What about the Winky? I should have I should have clarified Jeep Wrangler, so I guess that's partially my fault. I, th I thought it would be pretty uh, obvious, but all right. Uh, continuing, we got Praise Me More, which is Neko with the yellow Terminus. Got the light bar as well. Stock wheels. Got the um, overlay on the hood. The yellow secondary. 
Nice. Got the back uh, removed, and the roof and all that. Roof panels. So cool. Your, your interiors are getting wet. <laughs> we got a Camacho owned by uh, Midnight Forza, which is Alex. I love the Camacho. Uh, the the absolute, still the best bang for the buck off rotor in the entire game is still the Camacho. This thing is like what three hundred and forty thousand, I think, something like that. Uh, three seventy five, yeah. So just under four hundred thousand. It, it is an absolute. I mean, it, it, it can still compete pretty closely with the Terminus. The Terminus is a, is a bit faster, but I mean, it still competes pretty close, and it has good customization. The Camacho is just amazing, the best value for sure by far. Um, like the wheel choice, like the livery, the color. Um, Got like that vinyl top, very cool, and the light bar on top. Does the light bar work on this one? I don't remember. I think it does. Right? Does? Oh yeah, sick. See? Look at that. You don't have to spend a ton of money. <laughs> to get a cool Jeep. Love the Camacho. Ah, we got Optic Wig with the Brutus. You never see anybody... This is from the arena. You never see anybody use this thing. It, it's kind of a... It's a fugly vehicle. It has that, that one minivan, weird-looking front end. Uh, kind of mixed with the Silverado. It, it's very strange the way Rockstar made this thing. It's based on one from a movie. What, what's that one called again? I forgot, uh, but yeah, it's an interesting view. Got the Silverado taillights and R Rockstar is very strange. You know, the, the day they decide to go in with a um, you know with you know a nice pickup truck style is is, is they just make it strange. <laughs> That's Rockstar for you. Tank, ah, oh, yeah, it was Tango and Crash. Yep, 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 yep. Pontiac Transport. Yep. Remember for six months, appreciate an echo. Uh, we got Reagan with the Weevil. Nice offer built on the Weevil. This is very well done. I love the yellow fog light covers. I like the ones on top. Nice. Very nice. This was done in good Baja bug. <laughs> if only you could lift it just a tiny bit. But, I mean, the creativity here is fantastic. I love the livery as well. Nicely done. Awesome. And we got the massive guardian next to it. You, you can literally fit this weevil on the bed <laughs> of this guardian. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. The massive guardian. I wish this thing had more customization because the guardian is cool. Uh, got the red. This one belongs to Torpedo, I believe. Jeez, this thing's sick. It's, it's, it's huge. Just the size of this truck is insane. Wow. Wow, wow. I kind of forget about this thing. It came out with the Heist update, and, um, you know, it, it's kind of forgotten. Didn't have really that much visual customization, but it is the biggest truck in the game, that's for sure. Awesome. We got Nikki with the Terminus. Has a, like, bluish purple. I like the gold wheels. They're, like, bronze. That looks really good. Got the Angry Jeep Grill. <laughs> awesome. Team session, okay. We got the remove doors, the remove roof, the remove spare tire. It's ready to go off roading and have fun with this thing. And they got the Rubicon style hood. Nice. <clears throat> we got red socks with the terminus as well. Love this color on here. 3D2 on the plate. I ah, love it. I was waiting for somebody to do that. <laughs> Nicely done. Like the wheels. Like the hood. You know, the, the 3ND2, it kind of lives up to the name of this thing because I didn't realize. Obviously, you can only tell so much when you, you know, first impressions driving a brand new GTA vehicle unless you actually do, you know, side by side or timed comparisons. Uh, this thing is an absolute monster performance wise. Uh, Neko and I were testing some vehicles um, yesterday to compare so we can create, you know, the restricted long haul list because Bruffy hasn't been able to test um, that well, or make his testing public yet for this vehicle. And um, wow, this thing, <laughs> this thing is, it, it basically competes top tier with, with the top off-roaders. It is wild. I, I did not expect that. You know, it's, it's, it's literally like Draugr, Camacho uh, performance. It's just wild, 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 this thing. Um, all right, continuing, we got Dead by Pi. Got the red, got the angry grill, got the stock wheels, 
Got the different style uh, fenders and more clearance. Got this livery, removed roof. Nice. The different spare tire attachment there. The thing's got like the raised hood section. Okay. Does it have HSW? It does not. It's just naturally that fast. Kind of if it had HSW, it would literally destroy the class. <laughs> We have the car, car, 4x4, four four. I believe this guy lagged out. Yep, this is your 4x4. Four four. You're, you're very, very American Raptor. <laughs> Let me know. Oh my gosh, WTF is a kilometer. <laughs> nice. With the American flag livery, that's awesome. I love the car, car, horse. Razors, okay. All right. Love that. The most American vehicle here, that's for sure. We got Itchy with the yellow Camacho. I love the wheel choice on here. Like a gold or like tan. That looks really good. Massive bull bar. Again, the best bang for the buck in the entire off-road class. His plate. <laughs> this needs to go on the Guardian. This needs to go on this. We need to swap plates. We need, we need to put your plate on this one. That's, that's for this... <laughs> Fantastic. I love that. Amazing. It needs to go on a bigger truck, though, I think. <laughs> we got Glo Gloopy. Hope I said that right. With a brown Seminole. Is this a stock Seminole? Okay. With an open trunk? Hmm. Stock wheels. Okay. Maybe he owns one IRL or something? <clears throat> Not sure. Okay. Um, we got Omnis. I don't know who this belongs to. I like the wheel choice, even though they're a little bit too big, I think. Got the white five spokes. The Omnis is so much fun to drive. I like these two side by side, the GB200 and the Omnis. That looks really good. I like that. Uh, we got CMJ GB200, one of my favorite rally cars in the game. It is unfortunate that it has slow handling flags, you know, it just is what it is, um, but it, it is still an amazing car, and it still drives pretty decently, even with the handling flags, so, well, but love this build too, nicely done. This monstrosity lagged out, um, unfortunately, but all silver, looks good, like the wheel choice too. Uh, we got a 190Z Inferno. Um, with like a gold and a livery, I don't really see how this is like rally, kind of maybe. No rally lights either. This is more like a drift build, I think. With F ones, more of a drift build, I think. Okay. <clears throat> um, we got disturbed with the F one. Oh my God, two F one cars side by side. <laughs> Two F1 wheeled cars. <laughs> oh man, with the Bluetooth hubs. Did I say that? Oops. Blue Bluetooth hubs. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm not not a fan of the F1 wheel thing. I, I know some people like it, but I I don't. I mean, it just looks weird, you know. Uh, but uh, the black and the red does look cool. I will say that. It, it, this thing with, with like stock wheels or black wheels would look really good, like the standard off roads. Because I do like the black and red color combo, it looks pretty mean. Uh, but the F1's, you know, just not my thing, personally. Uh, we got Yard, um, who, who lagged out for like the 20th time, I think. Uh, is this his? This is his? Okay, yeah, this is his. Okay. Just making sure. Um, it's funny how his name is Yard again. He had to go a few yards multiple times to get it. <laughs> So, I like the gray, I like the stock wheels, I like the livery, light bar. Off-road on the plate, nice. Nice, nice, alright. Uh, we got a Fagaloa owned by Juicy. Um, got like the green color on here, got the livery. Nice like rally build there. Looks cool. Not bad. I like the color, the color looks really good. We got Patriot Mill spec. This guy lagged out too? Bruh. Oh my god. This guy lagged out? Well, that's unfortunate. Okay. Um, we got DiGiorno. Wow. With the Sultan RS Classic. The two-door. 
Got the blue pure rally spec. Did the off roads so though? That's surprising. That this wheel with the off roads. Usually, most people go like the tuner route or just the smaller wheel with the normal tire route that you see also in the street category, I believe. Um, great build there. Looks good. We got the Yuga Classic 4x4. Did this guy lag out too? Oh my god, this guy lagged out too. Well, you know what? He left it on display, so that works. Got the Love Fist build. Oh my god. Jesus. Holy zebra. <laughs> All back. Oh my god. Doesn't get more 80s than this. <laughs> that's funny. That's wild. But see, that, that's the Benny's level of customization this thing has. It, it's so much fun to customize this thing. Awesome, awesome vehicle. It's fun. It's quirky. If Doug DeMiro would customize cars in GTA, he'd have a field day with this thing. <laughs> he'd have a, have a field day customizing this thing. All the quirks and features. Alright, we got Red Hun with the beautiful candy red terminus. Love the stock wheels. The bull bar with the extra fog lights. Got the extra vents in the hood. Removed roof option. Different bracket for the spare. Nice, nice. And the snorkel. Okay, but no a light bar. Um, we got Unrivaled with the Hellion. Love the Hellion. Great color on here. I like the white five spokes. Got the roof rack with the light bar. Heavy duty on the plate. Got the bumper delete as well. Okay. We got a, a Drick. A Drixel. I hope I said that right. Uh, with the Seminole Frontier. Got the silver with the retro livery. Nice. I like the roof rack. This is a nice vehicle too. I, I like the Seminole Frontier a lot. Really cool vehicle. The hood scoop is kind of wild though. Um... The roof rack and all that, okay. Ah, uh, we got Tabor with the Rattel. A very forgettable off-roader. Um, it's kind of like the, the, the competitor or, you know, kind of similar vehicle to the Trophy Truck and the Desert Raid. Um, but it's rear-wheel drive, which I think the real one is rear-wheel drive. But in GTA, I don't know, it just kind of sucks that it's rear-wheel drive. It kind of, I, I, w I wish it would have been 4x4. But it is a cool vehicle. I like how it has, like, the LS engine model back here. It looks really sick. The customization is pretty decent too. Pretty fun to drive. Um, but um, I personally prefer the trophy truck and the desert raid, you know, in terms of the way they, they off road. This one is a bit faster though. Um, we got Rake, Rakeser? Raxery Port? Okay. <laughs> Raxery Port. With the Yosemite Rancher. Maniac on the plate. Got a green. Got the stock wheels. So I'm surprised he did like the roof delete with all this factory deleted too. It looks kind of weird, but it looks kind of cool at the same time. Like this this will be really fun to drive. <laughs> A really fun pickup truck to drive. Awesome. Another Camacho owned by Bad Core. Military spec. I like the color, I like the wheels, the outfit too. Ah, with the crate and everything back there, that's sick. Love it. Um, we got Elvis with the Terminus, matte green, stock wheels, the aggressive grill. Oh, I'm surprised he went more like that, that heavy duty windshield look. Got the stock roof. Alright, not bad. Uh, we got um, Al, all eyes on me, <clears throat> with the Comet Safari. I love the Comet Safari, so much fun to drive. I like the white with the red. They need to give us a Comet S2 Safari. They can base it on the Dakar. That'd be really cool. Um, looks sick. I like the white and red color combo with the spare and all that. Looks sick. A lot more Jeeps. Jesus. Okay, we got <laughs> Shridge Boss with a blue Jeep. Doors removed. Stock wheels. Nice, nice. No light bar. No accessories on the side. I'm surprised. Okay. Got the carbon overlay. Got the black secondary. Um, we got another one. I believe this guy lagged out. So like a darker blue compared to this one. This is ultra and this is racing blue, I think. It might be regular blue, actually. Like this black wheels. Remove doors. Nice, nice. Got a, like a green. <clears throat> I don't know if this is green or like a... This is a weird color. It looks good, though. Got the armor plating on the doors. 
Oh, and then he's got that, that cut off rear looking um, section on the roof. Got the spare tire cover, stock wheels, sidestep. All right, this guy just lagged out right now. <laughs> okay. Um, we got Elmo with the Zaba. Wild the Zaba. Kind of forgotten, but uh, got the livery on there with the chameleon paint. Pretty wild. Um, we got the another Hellion owned by Ultra. Like a Grave Digger spec. I like it with the red lights and all that. Sick. That's awesome. Like the outfit too. Uh, we got the Vapid Winky. We got two of them, I think. Oh yeah, the other one lagged out, unfortunately. Um, got like a green stock wheels. Nice spec. This is a really fun one too. I mean, it's it's ridiculously slow, <laughs> the Vapid Winky, but the customization and the look is amazing. This is something you have, you know, as a garage showpiece. It's a really cool vehicle. Um, we got the Everon. This one's owned by a Nine Lee or Nine One Y, one of the two. <laughs> got the red Everon. Ooh, the black stock wheels. I like that. That looks really good. We like the ski racks. That's sick. Like the boxes. Oh, that's nice. That's awesome. Well done. Love the Everon. Then we have the Merryweather Mesa. So this was what everybody had before the new Terminus. This was the Jeep in the game, especially people who had it glitched with the cage off of it, which I still have on my PS5 account. Um, but this thing has now been replaced by the Terminus as a new cool Jeep. But um, I, I don't think it will be missed all that much because <laughs> the Terminus is just amazing. Um, but it still looks cool. Um, so yeah, I think I reviewed all of them. There might be some people who replaced some others that lagged out, I believe. Got an orange one there. No, that was... Yeah. Alright, so, my top three favorites of the meet, as usual. Um, let's start off with third place. I think I might go backwards this time and go start off with, with first. Um, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Let, let's go start off with third place. Um, it's going to be Reagan with the red Baja Buck. I just really like this. I didn't think I'd pick this as my favorite pick, but I just... The creativity there. I mean, they, they took a Weevil and then just went wild with it. The plate, the build, everything just nicely done. That's my first place pick there. Um, second place, let's, let's pick one of the Jeeps. I think that's fair. Let's just run around really quick and we can look at them again. I like this candy red one a lot. The yellow got the orange. The orange is really fun too. I like that. Um, this one little walk around again. Lots and lots of Jeeps. I mean, to be expected, right? This guy lagged out too? My goodness. Oh, this guy came back? Watermelon. That was his monstrosity. Okay. And this guy lagged out again. This guy lagged out again too. <laughs> I saw. A lot of people lagged out. Uh, there are the other Jeeps. Uh, doo -doo -doo. All right, I think I got. Hmm. I, I I genuinely really I genuinely really like this this candy red. Honestly, I think I'm gonna go with, with Sleepy's build. I like this a lot. The candy red just looks good. Yeah, I'll do that as my second place pick for the Jeeps. And then third place, um, I'm really close between this Comet Safari and back down over here. This, where'd the GB200 go? I guess he lagged out. <laughs> my goodness. This session is just an absolute mess. Well, I guess he disqualified himself. <laughs> so, um, I guess, uh, I guess Comet Safari it is because, uh, yeah, he, he liked that. Okay, well, Comet Safari it is for my, my third place pick. Okay, well then. Now we're going to take a little bit of a drive, so everybody hop in your vehicles. I'm um, going to take a little bit of a drive on some off-road paths. Oh, before we do that, well, when I want to do this, I want to do this. Has to be done. Has to be done. Which way is it going to go? Oh, wrong way. Oh, oh, oh. 
Oh, just really? Just broke through that? Bruh, I wanted it to go down the center of the meat. <laughs> I guess not. Okay. Alright, let's go ahead. Oh my god, where'd that come from? Alright, let's go ahead and take a drive uh, through some paths and stuff. And it's getting dark, but for those of you who have light bars, it's nice and bright, so. Alright. Take a nice slow drive to some off road paths um, in the Mount Chiliad area. Not that way. Uh, well, I guess we could go that way. Not ideal, but. Yeah, that was not ideal. That's fine. Make it there quicker. Oh, I literally could have gone the other way. That's where I was going, but. Alright. Make our way to paths. This way. <clears throat> Oh my god, where'd you come from? Tuh. Let's go ahead and map this. Uh, these are the paths over here. Right there. Oh, it's the other way. Sorry, sorry. Terrible, terrible, terrible navigator. <laughs> it's this way. Two and a half miles. Off-road route. Jeez, this thing is interesting off-road. We're gonna do some off-road races as well, so you guys can see how this compares to the um, oh, the Draugr and all that. Which? Where am I going? Acceleration on this thing is nuts, though. Can you believe how many people lagged out? It is wild. How many people? Oh, Canis. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> Canis believe. <laughs> nice driving, Mike. You're an awesome, terrible driving. I suck at off roading, apparently. You know, wait for everybody when we get there. This off-roading we're gonna be doing up here is it's slow off-roading. If you drive fast, uh, you will have issues falling off the, the side of the mountain, so you definitely don't want that. Oh, I broke one of my lights. No. All right, we have arrived. This path. Yes. Yep. Alright. Let's go wait. We're gonna wait right over here for everybody. Alright, we'll sink a single file. Oh, this looks sick at night. I love that. The light bars. It's awesome. A little bit forward to get everybody kind of situated. Check the map and see what we got. Just people driving up. It's backing up a little bit. Not too bad. And we got a couple people back there. We got somebody fell asleep over there. Alright. It looks like we're ready to go, I think. Yep. Alright, here we go. You guys want to keep leading it? I'm gonna. I want to fall back to watch you guys go through. Just keep, keep it going, keep it going. I'm gonna fall back like right here-ish. Bruh. They just dry and try to hit me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm going to the center here. There we go. All right. All right. All right. Nope. 
All the dirt everywhere. This at night is pretty wild. I mean, I do prefer it during the daytime, but with the light bars and stuff, it kind of gives them a purpose, you know? Not just for the look. And it works. It works. I mean, it lights, it lights up this road pretty well. Look at that! Oh, I love that. That look of the... Oh my gosh, it's awesome. So sick. These roads up here. If you're not careful with the rocks and stuff, that, that right there could easily happen to you. <laughs> not as easy as it looks. So you have to take it nice and slow. Some people are having some issues up here. <laughs> Got some rocks in the way. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> where where everybody go? Yeah, we were supposed to go up through there. I don't know why they went that way. This is the next route over here. Uphill is wild with this thing. The, the Jeep does it so well, though. I mean, it's almost like if it was made for it. But you know how Rockstar is. You never know. It, it might do something terribly so at least in this case it was done right oh my god hello all right so we're, we're all gonna meet up at a spot soon um you know what, from here, let's meet up at the the custom shop at the top of the map. Because we're already close enough there anyways. So once we're done with this path... We're gonna have one little event. Love it, love it. Alright, to the custom shop. Take the legit route. <laughs> Even though it's not now it's an actual road. steered right into the damn wall all right to the custom shop you guys can repair your vehicles whatever uh, we're gonna have a little bit of an event here that we're gonna start off the racing playlist whenever you start playing GTA 6 you should do a car meet of every single car in GTA 6 hmm <clears throat> that's a good point because usually I theme it you know based on what's been released or the specific theme I guess we could just do an any car meet for the first one you're gonna see everybody that that people. Oh my god, <laughs> Neko! Oh my goodness. So for that one, I mean, you're gonna see a lot of people driving up in um, M3, dude. Do you want cops? We don't want cops. Stop shooting everywhere. <laughs> I, I mean, I know you're trying to be as American as possible. I get it. <laughs> but, <laughs> <clears throat> um, but yeah, I mean. At that, at that first at that first GTA 6 meet, you know for a fact that you're gonna have people driving up in Bugattis and stuff. I'm like, how did you get that? Oh, I did a glitch, and then a week later they get banned. <laughs> oh my god, so glitchy. Optic wig with a super chat, appreciate it. All right, is everybody here? Seems that way, mostly. Some people back there. Um, all right. 
All right, everybody get in your cars. Everybody get in your cars. Let's we'll start up an event here. All right, so this event, I'm sure you could have guessed it. Who would have thought? We're going to do a race to the top of Mount Chiliad, impromptu race. Uh, let me see here. All players. There we go. Invite sent. Invite sent. It is working this time, apparently. If you're not getting an invite, um, just get kind of close to my vehicle and you should receive one. If I move too much, then it's going to glitch it out, so... Everybody get my invite? I hope so. Or maybe only the mods got it? I don't know. Okay. I think I think we should be good. Um. Hmm. Yeah. Let me back out of this. Um, I'm gonna have, we're gonna have, um, Sleepy Goth do it. Um, Sleepy Goth set the waypoint, and then, so that, as I think, I think it's a privacy setting issue. Um, go to the, set it for the top of Mount Chiliad by the little, little thing up here, and then just invite everybody. Everybody except the impromptu race invite from Sleepy Goth. Uh, interaction menu, uh, impromptu race under preferences, and then you set the waypoint at the. And there we go. All right, accept that invite from Sleepy. There we go. There we go. Now it's working. Uh, and then let me let, let me know when you're gonna start it so I can let everybody know to get ready. And send the invites again. All players in range. Do, do not back out of the menu. <laughs> Just hover over start. Alright. Get ready, guys. Get ready. Oh, Sleepy, whenever you're ready, you can go ahead and hit it. Maybe give it like 10, 15 seconds or so and then hit start. Here we go. All right, here we go. Oh my god. Everybody taking different routes. Jesus, Terminus is so fast. Everybody's going the... But he's taking that one, that one hill. It's like right over here-ish. Yep. Yep. There's a better one than this, but yeah, this one's not bad. I mean, this this jeep can climb it no problem. Anybody in the lead? Ooh, we got Taboras pretty close. Come on, come on, Terminus! Oh yeah, we're moving now. Got some momentum. Come on. Come on. Come on. Jesus, this thing just rocket. Look at this. That is so impressive. I mean, for those of you who've tried off-roading up the side of Mount Chiliad, you know that the way this thing just did that, I mean, that is very impressive. I think I'm in the lead. I think Tabor and the other guys are having some issues. Right, 
pink. The pink guy. I got it! <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> the, the amount of torque this thing has is just rocketed up the side of that thing. That's wild. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. That's insane. This thing is crazy, man. The Terminus is wild. I mean, I hate to say it's worth its price, but it kind of is. It, the performance is just crazy. Alright, some people are still climbing. <laughs> oh my god, is people still trying to make their way up the mountain right now? That's crazy. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and start up. Oh. Okay, let's go ahead and start up the full send down Mount Chilea. <laughs> Uh, now we're gonna start up the racing playlist. You guys are really gonna like these, I think. Um, also, you're gonna be able to see how the Terminus compares to other off-roaders because there's no restrictions, guys, for these races except for the BF400. That's the only banned vehicle for these. Um, so again, um, Doran, I don't know if you want to put it, just banned vehicle is only the BF400. So that's the only banned, yeah, only banned one um, for these. Um, then of course I have to go to motorcycles to then disable hsw and then go back to off-road because rockstar forgot to put hsw option in for off-road class uh you know what that that's rockstar that's rockstar all right uh what are you gonna do let's do an on contact on this one because i don't know how well that's gonna go um and we'll just leave all the other restrictions as is Again, HSW is off. But the only HSW off-roader is the monstrosity, I believe, so, yeah. Super chat from Raiders, appreciate it. If Rockstar allowed you to have your own DCA DLC in GTA or GTA 6, what top 10 cars do you want to have in your DLC? A new Prius is a must-have, I think. <laughs> I mean, Rockstar kind of already answered that, like, for just the car community in general, with the, the Tuners DLC, I think was by far one of the best DLCs we've, we've ever gotten in GTA Online. Um, Import Export was my favorite, but uh, Tuners was definitely a close second. I mean, just incredible, that DLC. It truly was. Um, I, I'm impressed. I'm, uh, I, but to answer your question, I mean, I think GT40 would probably be number one <laughs> there. I've been wanting that forever, along with the Ferrari, the, the 330 P4, I think it is, right, Dorn? The 330 P4. Um, that Those two. That and the GT40, we can kind of recreate some Ford versus Ferrari stuff, you know? I think that'd be amazing. Um, I mean, I think those are the two main ones. What else? I mean, a new Prius, obviously. That, that'd just be hilarious, especially if it's a rocket-powered Prius. I'd love that. Um... As much as I'm not too much of a fan of Tesla, I like to see the Tesla Roadster added, the new one. Just, like, have it brutally fast, you know? Um, what else? I, I'd, take the, I'd take the Hellfire, and then when you apply HSW to it, it removes the front wide body. <laughs> and it makes it basically a Demon 170. I think that'd be hilarious. Um, what else? I mean, you know, mainly, mainly American stuff, and that's what I like, but... Thoughts on 2024 summer DLC? It's definitely coming. It's definitely coming. Rockstar already confirmed that they're giving us updates. Um, you know, DLC updates for, for 2024. So, just a matter of time. Right, what do we got up front? Got a Jeep. Uh, oh, a Draugr. Got a Draugr in first. They're all, they're all kind of struggling. I was gonna, I was gonna say the Draugr, the, the Terminus looks like it's struggling a bit more in the Draugr, but I say they're pretty like even for the most part so far. The Draugr is definitely the biggest competitor to the Terminus, performance-wise. The Draugr is just like, one of the, the best all-rounder by far. They're just like pure off-roading. But this is a really, really aggressive track. I mean, you really need <laughs> these types of off-roaders for this. Whoa, two wheels. Two wheels. Really difficult track, too. 
by those droggers. Just so brutally fast. The Terminus with HSW would have been just so... I mean, it's already fast, but with HSW, it would, have, it would have been even just crazier. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, somebody blew up. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Whoa, two wheels. That Draugr is brutal. Massive jump. Jesus. It's pretty sm a very smooth landing, actually. Come on, Terminus. Come on, Terminus. For this, you gotta jump this. Land it, land it, land it. Nice. Oh, Draugr spun out. Got an overtake. Jeez, this thing's just max speed. Oh my god, that, un that understeer. <laughs> this Jeep should not be going this fast. <laughs> oh, my window's back. Yay. Back window that I glitched on it. Nice. Well, still third. Last lap. Let's see what we can do as I hit as I hit the inside of the <laughs> You don't like the track, Alex? <laughs> Alex is complaining to me with every turn he takes. He's like, what is this track, man? I I, I think it's fun. <laughs> he says he says it looks like a fifth grader made it. <laughs> well thankfully I didn't make it. I mean I, I still think it's kinda of fun. I mean, if you, what are you driving, Alex? You're driving the term. I don't see how you're having that big of an issue with the terminus. Do a flip. Do <laughs> uh, I'll be, I'm just. I'll be happy to get top five. I'm, I'm losing to three Draugrs. So I guess we can see the Draugr is still a lot more like consistent off road overall so far from what I can tell. I mean, e every single like uphill section, it seems like the Draugr pulls from us a little bit. Well, we're kind of there, but we're not really catching up that well. See, in this section, too, they look at that. They start pulling away. Like the higher speed stuff. Ooh, I think he made a mistake. Yep, 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 yep. We got third. We got third. Come on, come on. Come on, Terminus. Come on, Terminus. We got two people really close behind me too. I think I took that jump a little bit too, too much speed. Oh, that guy! That was that first place that fell off and died. I think yeah, it was. It was yeah. Jeez. No, no, don't do that to me. Don't do that to me. Don't do. Go, oh, come on, Terminus. Come on, come on, come on. Power, power, power. No. But on two wheels, you pile of poo! I still wanna, I wanna keep, I'll be happy if I keep third. Okay, come on, come on. Top speed. I know you got the top speed Jeep, come on. The apex of this, because of the understeer. They definitely have the top speed compared to the Draugr. Whoa, lost traction. You saved it though. Damn, I, I think I think we could have gotten first. Like that was man, that's a wild race. You, just, you can make so many mistakes so easily. <laughs> wild, absolutely wild. Well, so what do you guys think of that track? I I know it's pretty difficult and there's a lot of a lot going on, but <laughs> what disappointed you in the GTA 6 trailer? Nothing really. I, th I thought it was well made. Even though I have a little PTSD every time I hear that song. <laughs> song from the GTA 6 trailer. I spent like 20 hours straight going through every frame of that trailer. <laughs> oh, man. That breakdown video took me forever. Didn't like the track. Oh, I thought it was fun.
One thing I did notice, the, the Terminus doesn't have a suspension option, which is kind of interesting. To, to lower it for, you know, some tracks they help you when you lower it. Even though you shouldn't, you shouldn't lower a Jeep, but... Really neat, okay. Oh, the Terminus did get the fastest lap, look at that, you're right. I guess the Draugr is just more consistent. Well, top three. I will happily take it. Will you observe every frame on a video game trailer? You already know how picky the community is. <laughs> Not really picky, it's just trying to find things from GTA 5, basically. Like, I spent so long just zooming into certain cars trying to figure out what each one was. Terminus better top end handling for road base, yeah. Too much, yeah. The terminus does have tend to tip over a lot. Okay, this one. So you guys remember the path we just did slowly, right? This is a race on that path. <laughs> so you just did that path at night with your lights slowly. You saw how easy it was to fall off. So now you're sort of prepped for it, but now it's an actual race. So my my only suggestion here is. <laughs> Be very careful how quickly you go around corners. That's all I'm gonna say. Very, very, just take your time. You know, you wanna be on the brakes. You, you can easily fall off. Anyway, let's go ahead and start this up. We're gonna do one lap. Um, we got crew member invites sent out. I got 10 seconds there. Do noon and do clear. What the heck, Halloween? We don't want that. Do clear. I'm 27 and start it up. Here we go. Go oh, Terminus. Pick Terminus for all of them because it, it's definitely not the, uh, the only vehicle I own performance wise in this account. <laughs> it, 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 BF, yeah, BF 400 is banned for all of these guys. It's the only one that's banned. Careful. What's careful? Every other GTA 6 racer. <laughs> there we go. Good luck, everybody. Oh, I will mention, though, um, for the... Well, on, when you're done with this lap, uh, the checkpoint on this bridge, make sure you go right through it. If not, you will miss it. The rest of the track is fine. That's the only thing I noticed is a little broken on this track, so... When you come back to the finish line, basically, make sure you hit the checkpoint head-on. You see? I I'm saying that, so yeah, I, I could have easily corrupted and be like, Oh, I won the race, guys, because they missed the checkpoint. No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> but you will miss it, though, if you don't go right through the middle. Just letting you know. Oh, my God. I I look at me saying be careful, and I'm the one that already messed up. <laughs> track is very this is part, this is the most difficult track of this playlist because these paths they're not meant to be go, to be going like fast through them they're meant to be going like slow it's really really difficult <laughs> and these the, the Draugr and the terminus they just have in the Camacho they have so much acceleration they have so much acceleration that it's uh it's really tough in these paths someone flipped Somebody went in the water. <laughs> We're not even on the other path yet. The other, the other path is is that's that's like that's like level ten. <laughs> this is like this is level. Oh my god! I had no brakes there. Jesus. Even for the even for the best driver, this this these paths are so difficult. I think the Rattel would probably be the best one here, I think. Oh my god, everybody flipped there. <laughs> Ninth right now. Brakes. Brakes. These are normal off-road paths. You can't blame me for this being a bad track. In this case, you just... Not that good of a drive. 
It is it is skill issue because these are natural paths. These are this is not a this is not, nothing's custom about this. You just have to take your time through these paths so you can easily fall off. Th this part is so difficult. This Draugr ahead of me, Jesus. So quick. Thank- Oh my god. I almost went off there. Breaks, breaks. This is so difficult. <laughs> Ooh, he flipped. This is the most intense track you ever do. Breaks, breaks. You gotta have so much self control too with your brakes and like your throttle on this. You can easily make a mistake. The high speed. Woo! Man, so close to a top five. Somebody hit the rock in the middle of the road. <laughs> Some people missed the checkpoint. I said to go through it in the center and nobody did it. Didn't I say it? <laughs> I said it. <laughs> go through the checkpoint in the middle. Because it's broken. I said it. Well, Tabor listened, apparently. Um, but. Well, I got second. Well. I got second, I guess I stole second, because that wasn't fair, but I did say it, you know, I did say it, I did say it. Why well, only one lap? Because one lap was over three minutes long. I think that's pretty, uh, you know, a bit long of a lap. We got another race, and then we got long haul, uh, unrestricted. The only thing that's banned is the BF400. Same thing. Is this skill issue while reading the comments at the same time? <laughs> I didn't even see that while I was racing. Oh, man. Well, th this race, I didn't read the comments at the same time because there was too much going on in a race like this. <laughs> I drove through a perfectly centered three times. That's w I went right through it perfectly. That's weird, Neko. I don't know what happened there. Hmm. So it worked for me. It worked for Tibor. I went right through it on stream, right in the middle. What's up, what's up? Your favorite Italian food? Chicken Parmesan? I love chicken Parmesan. It has to be chicken parm. Yep, chicken parm. I make my own chicken parm at home. I get the chicken breast, then I, I flatten it with the uh, the tenderizer meat thing, basically the hammer. I make it like nice and flat, and then um, you know some seasonings, garlic powder, and some other stuff. And well, is this a cooking show now? Apparently, but whatever. <laughs> Talk to me about food. I love food. <laughs> then instead of instead of using um, like a breading, um, and it's a little healthier too. I actually use powdered Parmesan to bread it. So you just kind of, you, you got like a Ziploc. Yeah, you get a Ziploc, and then you just put a bunch of powdered Parmesan in there, and you just shove the whole chicken breast in there, and you kind of, it kind of, it sticks to it naturally. So you just kind of press it on there. And then you, I stick it in the air fryer. So I have an air fryer, right? And then I put like 10 minutes on each side, and then I put a little of a Rouse tomato sauce on it. That's like the best tomato sauce from the jar. It's the best one. It's a pricey, but it's, it's the best. I tried all of them. That's, that's the only good one. <laughs> so I put a little bit of tomato sauce, and then I get the, the mozzarella from Costco. It's like a low moisture one, so it's not as greasy. And I put like a mountain of that on top and just put it back in the air fryer, and boom, chicken parm. Delicious. And it's healthy. There's no carbs in that because instead of breading, I use powdered Parmesan. Comes out so good. Digital Betty Crocker addict. Oh my god. DCA has the formula. <laughs> Spill the recipe. I, I just did. I just spilled the recipe. 
Now I need to make yeah. Now I need to make a digital food addict. I need to make a digital food addict channel. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Uh, we got. Oh, th this one's really fun. This one's kind of similar to the other one, but it's a bit more fast paced and smooth. We'll do three laps on it because. Um, oh, I gotta turn off HSW again. There we go. Three laps on this one. We got four spots. Digital carb addict. Digital no carb addict. <laughs> Crusty crab addict. Oh my god. All right. Let's start. Start it up. I do love chicken. I make chicken on the barbecue too. I make like a. I don't know if, if those of you know what chimichurri is. It's like um, it's like an Argentine style thing. So. I, I make chicken on the barbecue with that. It comes out amazing. The meat's already over. Yeah, the meat. Yeah, the meat was over like a while ago. Now we're doing the ri what? Why are we floating? What? What is happening? Hello? Uh. Hello? Help? <laughs> I, gotta, I still got the boost in midair, but I, I lost a bunch. <laughs> okay. Don't know what that's about. But okay. It flies like a deluxo, apparently. I, oh, I did test all these tracks, but I couldn't test in like 20th place, so that, that kind of sucked. Oh, but the front was fine. Terminus. Got a little bridge. Little bridge action. Oh my god. No, I hit the wall. Ah. Come on, Terminus. Come on, Terminus. section for here. Oh. No, a road. I have a road. Back off road again. Oh my god. Oh, brakes. Oh my god. Man. Man, these tracks I picked are really difficult. <laughs> it's fun though, but you know, over the years, off-roaders have gotten so quick that you know, the faster it is, the more difficult it is to drive. That's a fact. Man, I I should have put two laps. They are they are pretty short though. I thought it was shorter. It's like two-minute laps, ish. Angle was off. Two wheels, stop it, stop it. Did you know the Terminus also has a crappy 2013 interior? Yes, but it makes sense on this one because the Jeep interior hasn't really changed all that much other than the screen <laughs> that they put in the middle. So it kind of makes sense. Chief Wrangler 392 Power The good thing about the Terminus 2 is that bushes don't really affect it, so that's another cool thing. Oh my god, I'm going too fast there. Great. In seventh? Trying to get top five.
being so careful with this thing. Last lap, here we go. Last lap, last lap. 2013 here in terms of real Jeep owners say, oh my god. Look at the pack we caught up to up here. Oh yeah. Like what, four people here? Three? Interesting. Acceleration out of the corners, jeez. Go, 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 go. Come on, Terminus. Come on, Terminus. Ooh, he messed up. Six. So close to top five. With a Draugr in front of me. And another Draugr? Or is that a Terminus? I can't tell from here with a non-contact. Whoa, there's three up here. Okay, okay. Alright, alright, alright. Come on. Come on. Oh, he flipped. I'm trying so hard to keep this thing on the damn road. Ah. No. Ah, I was right there, bro! I was right there! Ah! Well, that definitely had to be one of the best laps, I think. Because, I mean, I, I hooned the hell out of this thing on that last lap. I mean, I was pushing it to its absolute <laughs> limit. <laughs> no? Man, that Draugr's fast. I, look, I had the fastest Terminus lap. I mean, I pushed this thing to its absolute limit on that last lap. The Draugr is, is the acceleration, man. And it's more stable, too, on certain corners. That Draugr is just a monster. Draugr is a monster. I picked the wrong car. <laughs> I didn't do too bad. I still made it to the top five, so I'm happy about that. Top five. A lot of Terminus... <laughs> But I still think, but what do you what do you guys think? Is the Terminus decently competitive against the Draugr? The Draugr is a little bit quicker, I think. I think, I think it just depends on the track. I don't know. It's still up there, though. Termini? <laughs> you think a new dubsta is a possible is possible in a new DLC? I wouldn't doubt it. I mean. I don't see why not. The same way they give us an updated Jeep, they should give us an updated G-Wagon. We don't have... We still have the old crappy dubsta. That's probably going to be in the next update. That, that's 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 probably 100% going to be in the next update. They should do a 4x4 four four squared. I'd love that. Neko lagged out. Yep. Favorite burger joint? I like Fuddruckers. Fuddruckers is really good. I don't know if you guys have some of those where you live, but... Alright, here we go. Off-road. Um, I think we're going to do one lap. Or should we do two? I don't know. Maybe we do one lap this time. The off-roaders are a bit slower. My Jeep has a high top speed. Everybody says two. It's a couple one. Okay. All right, we'll do. I guess we'll do two. We got some spots open. Remember, invite sent. More than one person has said one. That's pretty surprising. Hmm. Interesting. Was it one or two? What are we doing? Well, most of my mods are saying two, so <laughs> I guess two. Okay, two it is. It's not letting you in, Neko. I sent the invite again. Oh, there you go. We still need... Yeah, you're right! No Miatas in this game yet. I keep forgetting about that. 
th that's I mean, the the no custom Jeep that one surprised me for a while. Um, we finally got it ten years later, <laughs> but but the Miata that one surprised me the most. There's not a single Miata inspired car in the game. The closest you can probably get is the RT three thousand, but that's a Honda S two thousand. That's not a Miata, but that there's no like genuine Miata in the game, so that that, that does kind of suck. Yeah, the the first gen NSX too. Yeah, we need that. All right, well, two laps gonna be interesting. You got an error, bruh. That's L star indeed. Yep, that's L star. They keep it for GTA Six, probably. <laughs> Where's the Mia? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh, cat crash emoji. I love that. Here we go. The TRX, I mean, that one, I mean, it is annoying, but I can kind of understand. It's not as popular as the Raptors. What the heck just happened here? But the Miata, that one just doesn't make any sense. Oh, my God. What is going on? <laughs> like a demolition derby of off-roaders oh my god jesus camry trd oh my god what the bruh what is happening pop 50 yeah new durango Track off, yeah. I'm surprised we got this Jeep. I've been wanting this one for so long. And they did it, and they did it right. So, good on Rockstar. I kind of want to... I don't know. I feel like this is probably my favorite one from the DLC. The Jeep, which is kind of saying something. That a, a damn Jeep is my favorite. <laughs> but, I mean, it's, 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 it's 3ND2 based, basically. With the performance it has, it has the hood. It's just superly fast. It's basically a 3ND2. I wish I had a, a V8 engine model, though. Like a massive V8 engine model. I mean, it kind of still has a V8 engine model if you look at it closely, but the engine cover kind of sucks. They still haven't fixed that input bug issue on Xbox. Oh, two wheels. Saved it. Vagrant guy. Bruh, every time I go to pass the. <laughs> every time I go to pass the Vagrant, he cuts me off. <laughs> Would you own one in real life? Own what? With the chat going by pretty quickly. To specify a little bit more. Will they add a hot ring Vigero? Probably. I'm not excited for that at all. Breaks, 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 breaks. Apron again. Oh my god. Terrible entry. Shelby Silverado Texas edition. Oh my god. This Jeep is insanely fast though. My god, what kind of a pass is that, man? Lipstream. Lipstream. Please. There we go. Something. Anything. Alright. Stream. That's your fault. Truck dedicated update. Oh, bruh! Shelby F-150, FCT Lightning, drop Silverados, oh my god. It would be nice if Rockstar would add more trucks in the game. 
but they're finally like, you know, probably like, no, they'll not anymore. Those stupid trucks for those Americans. <laughs> the Raptor R. I mean, the the normal car, car four x four, kind of solves that ish, like sort of solves that, you know. I mean, if they were to make a, another GTA style Raptor, I mean, it'd be pretty close to that, anyways. Bruh. Somebody blew up. <laughs> Drag race. Little vagrant thing is adorable. Let's run it over with our Jeep. <laughs> Lifted Jeep. Rally Hot would have been brutal with it. It's some. Oh my goodness. I break there because I wasn't sure what was gonna happen. <laughs> Buffalo, I, I'm that one surprises me the most. Like I thought for sure if, if they were gonna give us a, you know, some type of new cop car, I thought it was gonna be the Buffalo STX, not the Gauntlet. I mean, I'm not complaining. The Gauntlet's cool, but I mean, if you had me put money on it, I would have thought for sure it would have been the Buffalo STX. But oh my God, what the. Hello? What is going? Oh my God! Jesus, what a mess! Go accelerate, man. This is the most like crazy. I didn't think off roaders would be, be this wild in long haul, but I guess since they're so fast, <laughs> Jesus. What do you don't want a Ford Saint Crudo hanger? <laughs> Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Go! Move it! Jesus. L stuck. <laughs> yes. Uh. Flipstream. Come on, come on. My god, we're so far. I've never been, like, this far behind, like, genuinely driving pretty well in the long haul before. We're, like, halfway through the lap already, and I'm <laughs> barely catching up. Wild. Rate, common SR out of 10. The SR, that's the one that's, that's a remove website car. I mean, it was cool. It was, a. Uh, it took the OG Comet, and they basically updated a little bit, gave it nicer headlights and tail lights and gave it, you know, some decent visual customization and handling and all that's a nice car, I like it. Um is it one point one million dollars nice? Mm, I don't know. Um it's definitely quicker around a track than the um What the heck? My thing is my vinyl hood thing is glitched. Look, it's missing a piece. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> okay. Alright Rockstar. That's weird. I guess when you damage it, that happens? It's strange. Um, anyways, um, I do prefer the S2, even though it's slower. You know, it looks more like a real Porsche. Uh, but, uh... 1 to 10, I guess like a... 6-ish? Somewhere around there? How do you randomly get removed cars like the Flash GT? So, you don't just randomly get them, you have to acquire them through, I mean, you know, the event weeks, basically. Or if you know a buddy that owns one, you can buy it through them in the LS car meet, using the buying feature. I made a whole video on that, how to rebuy, how to buy removed website cars. It's only like, like five minutes long, I think, and I, I, I literally show every single way you can, you can acquire one. S2 is just slower because it lacks spoiler upgrade. Mm, I don't think so. The S2 in general just doesn't drive that well, handling-wise. And the, the, the straight line speed is pretty slow, too. 
you can attract the ZR1 or just do roll racing. As much as I'd love to track that car, um, the carbon ceramic brakes and the rotors are very, very, very expensive. <laughs> um, they're not cheap, you know, and it's just the pads by themselves, I think a full set of pads is like $1,500, something like that. It's just, it's wild. I mean, it gets expensive very quick. Um, plus the tires, the rock chips and all that. Um, I, I, I mean, I, I've done track days before, but with someone else's car, not mine. <laughs> That's the way to do it. So to answer your question, probably most likely not. Um, I would pay to track someone else's, but not, not my own. That way I don't, you know, wear and tear my own car. I don't get the pricing of cars in this game. They make a Chevy Impala cost more than a Porsche that 18. <laughs> You're not wrong. That's Rockstar logic. That, that's the GTA economy for you. That's the GTA economy. It kind of started going crazy when? It was like, what, like 20... 2017-ish, I think? Is when, is when the economy started being stupid in this game. Meet a new Hyundai. Oh my gosh. I doubt we're gonna get the, the only possible one is maybe a Velocitor N compact class, maybe, but I can't think of anything else. I don't understand collecting fast cars, I'd rather just drive them. Uh, I mean I don't I don't just collect them. I, I drive that car like every weekend. <laughs> and I drive it pretty aggressively too in Mexico, um, you know, with buddies and stuff. blame cheaters for the economy mm, I mean there there there's two sides of the coin everything gets more expensive because it's easier to make money right you have Kayo where you make like 1.3 1.4 million in an hour even less than an hour if you're good at it so in real life if that was the case right if you could easily make that much money you know the economy would be broken that's kind of a similar thing we see in gta online broken economy because of how, how easy it is to make you know a, a good amount of money there's, there's, there's two sides to that in, in gta 6 we're definitely going to see a massive reset a hundred percent you know everything is going to be reasonably priced priced to where it makes sense but but it's going to be very difficult to make money. It's not going to be, you know, to make a million dollars, it's going to take you probably like a week instead of an hour. <laughs> you know, uh, that, that's then that's when it's going to be, you know, when you see somebody driving around in a Bugatti, it's going to mean something. You know, like, wow, that guy's brighter the hell out of this game. Or he bought a shark card. <laughs> One of the two. Drive to Mexico from Florida. Yep, it's a really short drive, about 20 minutes to the highway. It's even left five minutes to the highway. <laughs> Are you about to end stream? Because I completely forgot you're streaming on Saturday. Um, we always end the stream. Well, I, I always end the stream after the long haul, which is the last race we do every stream, themed around the Carmi theme. Then they'll introduce heist. Yep. We will see. We will see how crazy GTA 6 gets, but I, I genuinely think that the economy, like, people are going to be complaining. They're going to be like, wow, these payouts are so trash. But, but, if, if, if a Camaro is 60000 you know, and a Mustang is 50000 or seventy or whatever, you know, makes more sense that you're getting paid, you know, crap money, but everything is cheaper and more realistically priced. I, I, I much prefer that type of economy than... The economy where it's like super easy to make money, but then everything is just superly really overpriced. How do you like your 900 horsepower ZR1 so far? In love with that! Oh my gosh, I, I love I love that car. It's by far the, the best thing I ever bought. I don't know why I didn't buy one sooner. I I I, I don't know. I thought it was just a. Uh, a Z06 with a bigger supercharger and an aero kit, but no, no, it's much more than that. That thing is just incredible. I, I love it. Absolutely love it. And the, the cooling and everything is just just a well, like a better overall car. It's just very well engineered. 
And it's it's crazy the amount of people that, that go nuts when they see that car on the street when I'm driving it around. Like, they start taking pictures and stuff. I'm like, geez, I'm not driving a Ferrari. Like, <laughs> but, you know, for, that, those are true car enthusiasts because... Uh, uh, if you're just the an average person, you know, you're not a car guy, that to anybody that's just, oh, look, another Corvette with an eBay wing, <laughs> you know? But but if, you, if you're a car guy and you see that car, you know exactly what it is. You're like, oh, oh man, it's the R1. It's like, you know, the King, King Corvette. C7 Pro Max, oh my god. <laughs> Basically. Yeah. Uh, digital Coke Cat Addict, though. Man, this this terminus is no joke. Once it, once, it, once you get some slipstream, Jesus. Oh, well, we're back at the front, so that's good. Bunch of terminuses up here. Will be termini. Bunch of termini. <laughs> termini, yeah. Bunch of termini. <laughs> Plural. Buff Doomsday High. I, I agree with that. I agree with that. Doomsday Heist needs a massive buff and payout for the amount of time it takes. I mean, they, they did buff all the heists a while ago, the payouts, but it, it just wasn't enough still. HSW Terminus would be a nightmare on this. The HSW Terminus would be a nightmare to drive. That'd be stupid. By the way, fun fact, since we're driving this, uh, did you guys know that a 2024 Jeep Wrangler 32, you know, the V8, with every option, you know, the winch at the front, the colored flares, and, uh, you know, the sky one-touch roof, you know, all the little bells and whistles, you know what the MSRP is? This is without markups. This is just the price that it says on the window sticker. A hundred thousand dollars. You can even get it to like a hundred and two. If you don't believe me, go on the Jeep website and build one yourself. Make sure it's a 2024 and build one. You'll see. I saw one in person the other day, and I walked up to it. I saw the sticker, and I'm like, what? A hundred thousand dollar Jeep? Who's the idiot that would pay that much for this? I mean, if it's if it has a Hellcat engine, fine. Like a Hellcat Jeep, then, then I'd say, you know what? It's a Hellcat Jeep Wrangler. That That's kind of worth it, you know, even though it's still not worth it. But uh, that, that that's just stupid. But yeah, 100K. 100K. 100K for a death wobble machine. <laughs> Some of them do have the death wobble. But it's funny because they used to be like 80k brand new loaded, like 82, 85 at the most, and then all of a sudden they just one day, you know, they made them 100 and 102 around there. Stupid. Like they basically added 20k to the price. Those things glitch out sometimes. What car are you hoping will be in GTA 6? We've already seen a bunch from the trailer. I made an entire list actually. Um, it's, in, it's in the. If you go to the community section of my channel, you'll find it. Um, when we did the GTA 6 car meet, I made an entire list based on every single car that I and a lot of uh, other people in the community spotted from the trailer. Um, there's a massive list. But, I mean, I'm, I'm hoping to see a lot of like Escalate, like the. basically the Cavalcade XL that we just got, you know? Because, I mean, I, I live in, in Florida, you know, so I, you know, I see Miami every day. So, I mean, I, <laughs> I, know, what, I know what I see traffic-wise, so I'm hoping to kind of see that translated toward, you know, to GTA 6. Uh, you know, you see a lot of Escalades, C8 Corvettes, um, and then the typical, you know, Toyota, Honda, you know, typical cars and stuff. Um, G-Wagons in the downtown area. Not as bad as California, though. That L.A. That's 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 where you see, <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, you know, uh, a G wagon on every corner. I 
I'm having a tough time catching up now. Why is the quality not good? It does that sometimes when the stream is trying to keep up with the, uh... Yeah, it does that sometimes. Supposedly, they're actually adding fiber in my area soon. Um, so I'm definitely gonna switch to that once they finally add it. Because I'm, I, I switched to AT&T though, I think. Um, but I don't care. I'm gonna pay whatever, because I'm tired of seeing these, you know, kind of buffering streams. You know, I want I want you guys to see it, like, crystal clear 4k you know so uh, I'm definitely working to get that as soon as they make it available well by sometimes I mean like when you're moving like as if you're looking at a still frame it's like crystal clear but once you start moving and moving the camera on it gets a bit blurrier cable company monopoly yeah well it is what it is Customer service addict. <laughs> well, they, they were adding fiber lines a while ago. Uh, they put the little flags and everything and the spray painted stuff. You know, they were marking everything. Um, and then they did they did that and they, they didn't actually install it. I'm like, like a whole year went by and I'm like, bro, really? <laughs> but I just got a letter in the mail recently saying they're actually going to do it on paper. And I'm like, okay, now we got something. <laughs> Yeah, like a year later. Hopefully I don't, I don't have to wait another year. <laughs> Digital fiber, I think I'm like, uh... Oh! Well, we're getting close to the end, boys. You got your money on a Vagrant, a Draugr, or a Terminus? Who you got your money on? One of those three. Right over. Oh my god, a Vagrant did that too. Jaguar, Vank versus Akato. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. My money is on whoever wins. Oh my god. You just put my money's on the off roader. <laughs> on that off road, yeah, there you go. Somebody's on that off road. <laughs> I don't get into any politics on here, sorry. Will you be building. Okay. Jamil, I've been getting a lot of questions. People were saying they messaged me on Facebook. That that digital chromatic Facebook profile is not mine. Somebody made that. I don't I don't have a DCA Facebook profile. I don't I don't have that. If you don't see it in my channel about section, I do not. That's, those are the only social media um, links that that are actually mine. The ones that are in the about section of my YouTube channel. Anything else you find is fake. <laughs> So you're messaging some random guy. That's not me. <laughs> Ever knew your name was Mike until I saw the demon vid. Ha! <laughs> I'm scared up here. Where's the oh okay we need to get some speed. Let's see, let's see. Come on. Give me a slipstream, bro. What is this? Oh no. I saw that coming. Yep, 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 yep. I don't know why the game wasn't giving me slipstream. But now it's working. Of course it is. Oh no, I messed up the wall right. I messed up the wall right. I messed up. I. Oh, I guess I didn't blow up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I completely messed it up, but. It's, I, I say, hey, look! Top five! <laughs> what a coincidence. I'm happy with that. I am genuinely happy with that. I, I, will, I will happily take that. 
I will happily take that. Fifth place on the dot. I'll take it. And the Draugr was the winner. GG's. First three wins all in a row. Nice. Top five is always possible, as Bruffy says. <laughs> Are you a next gen Xbox or old gen? It's next gen. It says Series X slash S in the title of the stream. <laughs> Ron manufacturer car meet when? I have to make a list on that. We have wait, we have the Vapid Contender, which is a Toyota. We have the the Aston Martin Vanquish Zagato, which is a Jag, which is in Jag, but it's an Aston Martin. So it should, shouldn't be Ocelot. It should be Dubachi. What other ones do we have? That one's kind of tough, though, because you do have cars that are mixed. For example, you have the 4 GT, the FMJ, with the Aston Martin Vulcan front end, but it's, the rest of it is still 4 GT, so that's a tough one. Um, so it has to be a car that doesn't have, you know, it has little to no inspiration from the main brand that it's in. Uh, that's, that's a tough list to put. Yeah, the Revolter's a good one. The Jester, yeah, because that's in Dinka, which is... um. Yeah. Let's think of Honda. Are we talking about the Jester Classic? I was thinking just the Jester is in the right spot, but yeah, the Jester Classic is the one that's in the wrong one. Yeah, the Jester Classic on the Jester RR. Yep. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the off-road meet and, of course, the events afterwards. If you want to join me, if you want to join the next <laughs> car meet, I'm a bit tired. All the info is down below in the description. As always, I alternate between PS5 and Xbox every Saturday. Thanks again for watching, guys. Have a great night, and I'll see you in the next one.